my husband is so controlling that he actually tricked me into having our fourth child by poking holes through our condo. I uh, caught my wife with an exo neighbor in a sexy nightgown. She doesn't even do that for me. You look awfully young to have been married for 12 years. I was 15 years old when I was when I got married. Wow. I had all three of my children by the time I was 18. What? Anytime I was thinking about going to school, I got pregnant. You didn't know about birth control? We started using condoms. I thought we were being protected. He was actually poking holes through the whole box of condoms. No, I never used condoms. I went and got a clear blue easy, and it was positively I was pregnant. Woo! So what did you do? I walked in with the pregnancy test in my hand and whopped him in the head. You hit the man with the pregnancy test? Well, yeah, he wanted to have a baby. Well, now there's a baby. Today, it's Trisha Medina versus Kevin Medina in Divorce Court, where real couples deal with real life. All rise. Court is now in session. Judge Maybelline Ephraim presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the matter of Trisha Medina versus Kevin Medina. You all have been married for 12 years? Yes. And you have four children. You want a divorce and you want him to pay you spousal support. That's correct. That's a long-term marriage. Mm -hmm. 12 years for this court is almost the record. <laughs> so, but as usual, you're ending up in divorce. What's the matter? What's going on? Well, the reason why I want to divorce my husband is because I know as long as I stay with him, if I would have stayed with him, all I was going to be was his little sex slave and a baby-making machine. I wasn't allowed to go to school, and every time I tried to go, I would have to stop to stay home and, as he would put it, stay with the kids because he could not babysit his own children. So you wanted to do more than have children and stay at home? <laughs> exactly. Now, you look awfully young to have been married for 12 years, so you must have married as a child. I was 15 years old when I, was, when I okay. got married. Wow. And how old were you? 18. Okay. So you married while you were still in high school. You had just finished high school or were you in your last no, actually, year? Actually, I was already working. Uh, I was... Did you finish high school? Uh, no. No. So you decided you wanted to finish high school sometime after you got married. Well, I was supposed to go to school when I was pregnant, <laughs> eight and a half months pregnant when we got married. Our daughter is actually, our first daughter is born exactly one month after our marriage. This is why we got married. I was supposed to So how did that marriage take place? <laughs> There's a story yeah, behind I'm that, I'm told. <laughs> OK, uh, on f we had to go to court to get uh, permission to get married. On right. Friday, we got permission from the judge to get married. On Monday, uh, I believe on Sunday, my mother called him and said, if you want to marry my daughter, you have to be here Monday, at this time at my aunt's house, to get married. So mother set the date and the time. Yes, uh, we weren't supposed to get married until Actually, we had a child on my birthday when I was 16, but my grandmother came from Puerto Rico, <laughs> being old-fashioned, no children in this family is allowed to be born out of wedlock. If you're going to get married anyway, get married before the baby's born. So, so she grandma could be called the shots in that house, huh? Definitely, okay. definitely. <laughs> so grandma <laughs> said Monday. Monday. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we got there Monday. I'm getting dressed to get ready uh, to go to get married. When we get there, I'm walking down the aisle, like at normal. Ha nobody in my family is there because it's a weekend wedding. He, I believe he only had his No one, one in your family is there? No, Where's mother and grandma? My, gra my grandmother was there, my mother and father was there, okay, and well, my that's brother. somebody in your family? I have like a hundred people in my family. We well, I got a thousand, so what? <laughs> but they're like really close to us, and there was like uh, uncles, uh, a whole bunch of family was not. He only had his brother there. His mother was in Puerto Rico. It was a really quick and so you were upset by the fact that they had yes, this wedding uh, way in advance and you guys had planned it after the birth of the child. I was told I was going to get married the day before. Mm -hmm. And you said, okay. I had no choice. Well, you had a choice. You didn't have to it was go. either that or <laughs> not get no married. baby. Or, no, the baby was coming too. Yeah, it was, it was coming. Not according to her grandmother. Not according to her grandmother. Oh, they weren't going to let you have anything to do with the baby. Exactly. So you felt like you didn't have a choice because exactly. you didn't know your legal rights. Is that it? That's it. So, but you wanted to marry her. Oh, yeah. You just didn't want to do it that soon. Uh, I wanted to have a good wedding, family. So your nice. family could be there as well? Yes. Okay. So have the two of you been at odds ever since the wedding day? Well, the wedding day was a disaster. I, when we get up there, the, pre, uh, the pastor only spoke Spanish. I don't, at that time, I didn't speak any Spanish. My aunt had to actually tell me when to say I do. Did you speak? Did you understand what he was saying? I understand that. I, un I understood what he, uh, the priest was saying. So you don't even know what he said. No, he, he could have told me anything. He could have been telling me anything. My aunt said, say I do. I do. And oh. that was it. 
So you don't know what the man was telling no, you in no, terms of marriage? No, not at all. Wow. Not at all. So uh, I had... So you grandmother the, got him. So the baby was born, <laughs> and you had another one after that? Oh, uh, my children, my first three children... I had all three of my children first by the time I was 18. It was what? By the time I was So that's 18. why you said he just wanted you to be to a baby, baby, baby machine. machine. Anytime I was thinking about going to school, I got pregnant. I got pregnant. I got pregnant. There's a you didn't know about months. birth control? Well, I was using birth control. I thought I was using birth control. We were using condoms throughout the marriage. I realized that wasn't working. After my son, I wanted to get my tubes tied. They After the third me. one? My third one. Uh -huh. I, I've been wanting to, but they didn't allow me because I was under the age of 18. I asked him. To get a vasectomy. And he wouldn't sign. That was no. He, he I asked, oh, you him, asked to him to get a, get a vasectomy. vasectomy. That was not an option. Why not? He has a daughter before me as well. Why wouldn't you get a vasectomy? Because I don't want. That's wanna, I my don't, job. I don't mm. think. I, to me, a man shouldn't do that. Men shouldn't do that. But a woman could do that. You just should keep producing children. Uh, no, I mean there's all options. Uh, there's birth controls of uh, this. Well, vasectomy is a way of birth control as well. I just don't but think birth control is all left up to women. It's, it's my job. Uh, is that what you're saying? Yeah, there's pills, there's injections. There's okay, the injections. I did get on those injections, Miss May, uh, Judge May. So you're saying if she didn't want any more children, it was all, the burden was all hers to figure out the method of birth control. Uh, no, actually, I told her to get birth control. She was getting the shots. Uh, then she just stopped them and got pregnant. What happened to the shots? Okay, I was on those shots for four years. Every three months getting them. Blew up to 300 pounds. There's oh, no need... Oh, cause weight gain. Yes, exactly. There's no need to take shots to prevent sex if you're not having sex because you're so fat. I was... Before I had any okay, of my children... Okay, wait a minute. So once you started taking the shots, you gained weight. So then he stopped having years. sex with you. Well, not only did he stop having sex with me, I also didn't... I was not... Did not feel attractive. I, I didn't want to have anything to do You're with it. You're trying to tell me that you have to feel attractive to have sex? Well, yeah. You got to be in the well, mood. You got to feel... That's a new theory in this court. I've never heard that one. Well, no. <laughs> no we I'm would still have it. sex because sometimes, if, whether I wanted sex or not, sometimes... We were going to have but it. But because of your weight gain, you I didn't was not, not, not an And he wasn't comfortable with it. Well, I don't think I it mattered to him at no all. Problems. He loved it. He was giving me Big Macs, Burger Kings. Because, hey, he was I mean, <laughs> to me, he was like, oh, you're, you're beautiful. Yeah. When divorce court continues. We started using condoms. I thought we were being protected. He was actually poking holes through the whole box of condoms. If you would like to have the judge hear your case in divorce court, Call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at www.divorcecourt.com.